Okay, so I arrive at the hospital. They hook me up. I arrive at labor and delivery, I should say. They hook me up to monitors immediately and notice that I'm having contractions. Completely unaware. I was completely unaware. I was having no pain. Um, but of course, once I'm looking at it on the monitor, and I've got these hard little monitors on, you know, strapped to my belly, I can actually feel them now, because I'm just more aware of it, I think. And they weren't intense at first. They were just tightening, like what I would consider to be Braxton Hicks, the way that everybody describes them. But I was having them, like maybe, this started out about four to five minutes apart having these painless but tight contractions. And so the doctors at that point said that they needed to run some tests, they needed to take some swabs of things, and take some blood, and um, uh, were going to give me some medicine to try and calm the uterus down and keep it from contracting. And so um, Unfortunately, things seemed to speed up very quickly from there. I went from having painless contractions four to five minutes apart to having pretty painful contractions every two minutes or less. Um, at that point, they were pretty much telling me, you're going to have a baby tonight, and we're going to bring the NICU doctors in to talk to you about what to expect, and... Um, the baby will be fine, but it will be very small, and we may have this and this and this and this complications. We may or may not. So anyway, I was prepared for all that because I've been through this before, fortunately, so it didn't freak me out too much. Um, other than the fact that I just found it completely strange that I landed in the hospital and suddenly went into labor. I don't know how that happened. Um, so... Basically, I had contractions, painful contractions, two minutes or less apart from, let's say about, contractions started at noon, didn't get more intense until maybe three. I had the intense contractions from three in the afternoon until about three in the morning, until so finally I had enough drugs. Um, they're giving me these pills every hour, for every four hours, to slow it down and IV fluids in hopes that maybe I was dehydrated and that's what was causing it. Um, <clears throat> so finally at 3 a.m. they started to subside, get further apart, and was painful. And the only reason I know that is because I finally fell asleep. <laughs> I was awake early that morning until 3 in the morning. It was a lot of work. So, um, so this is where I sit now. I'm still in the hospital. They gave me steroids to mature the baby's lungs quickly because there's really no way of knowing when contractions may start back up. They may start back up in 10 minutes. They may start back up in 10 days. They may start back up in 8 weeks when he's due. We just have no way of knowing. So, to be prepared, they want to make sure that his lungs are fully capable of breathing on their own, which at 31 weeks, they should be close to it anyway. Um, but having the steroids will basically take them from immature to mature within 48 hours. So that's where I'm at. I, my contractions have stopped. I'm feeling pretty good, actually. I've just been relaxing and laying around all day long, getting a little bored. So I'm kind of glad that I decided to make videos. I wish I would have thought of it sooner. Um, but I'm here until the 48-hour mark is tomorrow, I think in the evening. And hopefully, if nothing else has changed, I haven't made any more progression in my labor, then they will send me home and I'll be on bed rest, basically until I have contractions again. And at that point, they're not going to stop labor. They said that there's no worries. The baby will be born when he's ready to be born, and he will be fine. They're not worried about the lungs are the major worry. If we can get past 48 hours, then we're pretty much in the clear with that. So 
anyway, so um, I wanted to update you all, and I know I haven't made a video in so long, but there wasn't a whole lot to update about, and well, now I had something interesting to share, so there's my story, and honestly, this preterm labor was not in any way brought on by weight loss surgery, by malnutrition, by lack of vitamins, none of that. Um, this is something that my body has proven to do now for the second time, that it likes to kick the babies out once they get to be a certain size for some reason. Um, this baby is measuring right now at 32 weeks along, which is exactly the number of weeks that my son was born at, my first son was born at 32 weeks. So kind of interesting how that works. And despite the progesterone injections, despite the heavy monitoring, despite all the ultrasound, extra ultrasounds I've been getting to try and prevent the situation, it happens anyway. And that's just because my body does that. So I wish it didn't. But I do get cute babies out of the deal. They just come out a little skinny and then got to fat them up. So I guess that's it. So for the night... My husband and my son were here with me for the day, and they just went home to relax and, you know, just be home. I wish I could be, but it's not a terrible place. They treat me pretty good here. I've got TV. I've got internet. Um, my husband left me with the laptop, so, yeah, my iPod batteries died a while back. And I'm not miserable. I'm just, you know, taking it as it comes, so. I think the hardest part is just not knowing when I'm going to go into labor for real. And it's going to go super fast because half of my work's already done. I'm already dilated to a four. It's not going to reverse itself. So the next time I start having contractions, it's going to be like that. So if I'm at home, I have to get here fast, um, which does worry me a little bit. But anyway, that's all you guys. Keep us in your prayers. And little baby Jessica in your prayers and um, I will try and update you again as soon as there's any change or well, yeah that's about it all right so thanks for watching and thanks for being patient I know it's been a long time since I made a video but um, yeah there you go all right talk to you guys later make healthy choices don't eat brownies all right bye